We're seeing, of course, the battle between Republican incumbent Cindy Hyde-Smith, who was appointed to replace Thad Cochran, who retired because of health reasons. She is running against former Agricultural Secretary Mike Espy for this seat to fill out the, the last remaining two years of Thad Cochran's term. It is, of course, it has been a race. Republicans thought it was going to be a breeze, but when you have pretty much one of the dumbest candidates you've ever seen running uh, for election, yes, I'm saying that for a reason, because when you look at her comments about public hanging, voter suppression, and how she won't even talk to the media, she's literally running out the back door at her own campaign events. Republicans are very concerned about Cindy Hyde Smith losing this seat. Last night, Donald Trump was actually uh, in Mississippi holding two rallies, uh, trying to gin up support for her. And he actually made a pretty dumb comment himself. Cindy's far left opponent. He's far left. Oh, he's out there. How does he fit in with Mississippi? Just but I could go over this. But how does he fit in? President Trump came to Mississippi yesterday and asked, how does he fit into Mississippi? Your response. Because I didn't see that yesterday, but I did see that clip. He said, who is Mike Gatsby? Well, Mike Gatsby was a member of Congress from Mississippi. Mm -hmm. Four times. I was elected in 1986. I was the first black congressman since the Civil War. Mike Gatsby was Secretary of Agriculture. Uh, First Mississippi to ever hold that post, first black in the nation to ever hold that post. And uh, my grandfather was Thomas Jefferson Hudson Sr. He founded something called Afro-American Sons and Daughters. And in the, in the 1930s, he was the wealthiest businessman in Mississippi. He formed a health insurance company. Well, really, it was more like a workman's cop insurance company now. Uh, because when black folks went to work and got hurt, they just had to suffer. So he was able to form an insurance company to give them some recompense for their injuries. And then he decided that he was tired of our women having babies in the cotton field. So he founded a hospital and built it in 1924 in Mississippi. And I was born there in 1953. So when people think of Mike Espy, who is Mike Espy? They think about Thomas Jefferson Hudson Sr., my grandfather, whose legacy I inherited. So that's who I am. His, his blood runs in my veins. And then I was able to maybe chart my own course in elective office. Assistant Secretary of State, first black in Mississippi's history. Assistant Attorney General, head of the Consumer Protection Division. I believe I was first black in Mississippi's history. Member of Congress, first black in Mississippi's history. United States Secretary of, 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 uh, of Agriculture. And then in the last 20 years, I've been the chairman of the board, not paid, of a nonprofit that works in Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Tennessee, and Arkansas. What we do is we decide how can we lift the, the human capital of low-income people in those five states. And we do it by moving those who are in a rental situation to home ownership. So we have a series of... Mm, sounds like Mike Espy, uh, yeah, Donald Trump, belongs in Mississippi. Of course, Espy uh, is hoping for a significant black turnout, uh, what he called Mammoth, when I, my interview with him yesterday on the Tom Jordan Morning Show. His goal is to get anywhere from 80 to 90 percent of the black vote, uh, then, of course, pick about 25 percent of the white vote in order to beat Cindy Hyde Smith. Of course, she has been dogged by numerous companies pulling their money as a result of her public hanging comment. Uh, the latest was Google, actually Facebook and Google. Now, frankly, it took them a hell of a long time to do it. Other folks were pulling their money last week. They waited until yesterday. Uh, and, of course, this is also the same Cindy Hyde Smith uh, who took a photo with her wearing a Confederate hat saying, Mississippi, history at its best best posted on Facebook in 2014. You want to check out Roland Martin Unfiltered? YouTube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roland Martin Unfiltered. See that name right there? Roland Martin Unfiltered. Like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's YouTube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so when we go live, you'll know it. Martin.